Caldera Hotel and Country Club is the starting point for one of the world's most prestigious long-distance canoe races, the Jemison Liffey Descent. The unique challenge of the 17 and a half mile race over 10 weirs, two sets of rapids and a punishing portage section has attracted competitors from South Africa and throughout Europe. From its humble beginnings in 1960, when a mere eight paddlers took part in the inaugural event, the 1995 starting lineup has been restricted for safety reasons to 1,200 canoes, competing in 18 different canoe classes. To add to that, the paddlers have to contend with the River Liffey in flood conditions. Immediately after the start, the competitors face their first obstacle, Straffen Weir. Then it's a long paddle to Vanessa and Temple Mills Weirs. Through Selbridge to Leakslip Dam and a 500 metre portage. Three more weirs before the Big V weirs at Wren's Nest and Palmerstown. Well, having conquered these, it's a relatively easy paddle to the finish at the Trinity Clubhouse and War Memorial Park at Island Bridge. So, competitors line up for the start of the K2 classes. From the left, the white canoe of Simon van Lunkhuizen and Adam Streven. Then it's Morgan Cooper and Martin Hearns. Beside them in the orange caps, German paddlers Maro Poffler and Ulrich Stieger. 76 canoes getting underway in this group. The early leaders in the green canoe are the German pair of Poffler and Stieger. Behind them is the yellow canoe of the Irish paddlers Cooper and Hearns. Outside them, Simon van Lunkhuizen and Adam Streven. Five thousand meters gone, Poufler and Stieger are first to strap and wear. This the first test, of course, of rough water skills. Let's see how they get on. Yes, safely through. But here, Van Lunkhuizen and Streven are offline, and they've lost their second position to Rob Olliard and Gavin Tarr from South Africa. Oh, Cooper and Hearns have capsized, and they're passed by another South African crew. Then it's the Tordoffs, last year's winners. The white boat, Paul and Matthew Enoch. Then the red helmet of Paul Stern with Steve Mayhew. In the yellow canoe, Eamon Burke and Tyg McIntyre. Number 254, Richard Kent and Gary Clark. 743, Kieran Cook and Don O'Brien. Oh no, 788, that's Nigel and John Royal from Scotland. Cook and O'Brien, they're gone. A big struggle behind. The green helmeted Mark Copps and Simon Haycock, they're gone for a swim. So too are the men in the blue helmets. Up ahead, the K2 leaders, first the South Africans, Olliard and Tarr, then the Irish pair, Van Lunkhuizen and Streven. A gap back to the Tordoff brothers, and then it's Von Mansberg and Byrne. Now the start of the K1 senior and veteran classes. 81 entries here in the white cap. Last year's runner-up, John Meyer. Beside him, Malcolm Banks. Behind the rubber dinghy, it's Gary Meyer, Ireland's bronze medalist from the World Cup Marathon at Santander in Spain. Then it's Asa Cooper, David Francis and Fergus Cooper. Oh, and look what's happened. Francis has gone already, caught out by the wash from that rubber dinghy. He won't be happy with that. But first away is John Meyer, then it's Malcolm Banks. Behind him on the far side, challenging for second position, Peter Connor. In fourth, the white boat of Fergus Cooper. Here it is, Straffen Weir. First, John Meyer on the Irish Olympic squad, a competitor from the World Championships in Spain. Second is Peter Connor from the Salmon Leap Canoe Club. And there's Fergus Cooper. He won the K1 class in 1993 and just gone through in the red boat, Gary Meyer. Connor Maloney, he's gone, and so too is Shane Timlin. Out under the bridge at Straffen and a change in the lead, Gary Meyer in the red canoe has powered his way to the front. Behind him it's Peter Connor, then Fergus Cooper, and in fourth place at this stage, Malcolm Banks. Straffen Weir again, we're looking at number 307. This is Connor Morrissey making his way delicately through the weir there. And it looks as though he's negotiating. No! And Morrissey goes for a swim. Well, David Francis is back in the race after the capsizing incident we saw at the start. This is Robin Love, an old hand at this event, competing in his 30th Lippy Descent.